Hello, Nick Snacks, Barbara Nicolato here for Del Bellos Designs. Today I'm creating a winter ice skating scene using various colors of inks and Lavinia stamps. I'm going to start off by creating a background lifted from a gel plate onto a sheet of multifarious cardstock that is about six by eight and a half inches to start with. The materials I'm using are listed underneath the YouTube video and most can be purchased from DelBellosDesigns.com. Okay, so I'm ready to start my project. My gel plate, five by seven inch. I'm going to use the VersaFine Clear Twilight Ink. Apply a little bit of that on my gel plate. Normally I'd be doing this with a brayer, so I changed my mind and grabbed the brayer. There you go. Much easier to spread this way. For the top portion, I'm using Elements Inks by Lavinia, and this color is called Sundance. It's a yellow hue. With my fan brush, I'm going to take some of the yellow brusho watercolor and sprinkle it on lightly. And I'm going to use some of the orange for the middle part of that section. As you will notice, I positioned my gel plate onto an acrylic cutting plate that I happen to have lying around um, that I would use on the die cutting machine. This works for me because I like to turn the plate over and this way I can see exactly where I'm going to be placing it onto my paper. After a good little push, applying a little bit of pressure, and then I pick it up, apply pressure on the opposite side, and then I'm ready to lift off my background. In this next part, I'm going to uh, do a little work in the background. I am using um, dried marigold, and I'm going to apply that through this little mask I created that's about one and an eighth inch. I'm going to give the moon a little bit of an orange tint, and I'm going to also drag that across the sky. Now I'm going to start to create my forest scene using a variety of trees. They're all Lavinia, and they're all listed at the bottom of the YouTube video. My aim is to scatter the trees around to give the effect of a forest with a clearing in the middle where I'm going to build a little lake for the fairies to ice skate on. The secret to giving the trees perspective is that the trees in the front, you want them to be taller, larger than the ones in the background. You will notice as I go along that I'm using some of the same trees in the foreground in the back and in the background. So how do I get the ones in the background smaller? Well, they usually have a long trunk on them. And to make them shorter, I don't ink up the entire trunk. Also, if it's a, um, a Christmas fir shaped tree, like the one you see on the right, which has a small trunk showing at the bottom to begin with. Sometimes I use that tree and only ink up the top half of the tree, as I did on the left side front. And that gives the illusion of smaller trees. I'm going to speed this up now. I think you get the idea of what I'm doing. If you need to, you could always push the pause button to catch up. Now it's time to start preparing the pond. I've torn some paper to use as a mask for the landscape, and I'm going to use the Picket Fence Distress ink with my finger sponge dauber. I'm going to outline 
where the pond is going to be. And then I'm going to start adding in a few other colors, which you might be surprised by, but they will add uh, depth and reflection to the water, or I should say ice. Adding the hickory smoke is going to define the icy pond and set it apart from the rest of the blue and white background. Adding the wilted violet is going to give it a shine. It's going to make the ice appear as a glassy surface. I just have to make sure to get most of it off the brush. I don't want to add too much. And now I'm going to add just a little bit of squeezed lemonade. Again, I want to get most of it off the brush because I want to be very light handed with that. And it's also going to um, give a little shine or reflection to the ice on the pond. Well, now it's time to bring in our skaters. I chose Mia and one of the three dancing fairies because of the position of their feet and their arms. They look like they could be skating. Now, they don't have ice skates on, so I'm going to have to take care of that with a small marker later. Sometimes after you've stamped, you've noticed that the ink is a little too light or it didn't take in some areas. And to try to stamp it freehand over it could be dangerous. So I take out my Stabilo black pencil and just go over uh, the areas that need to be darkened a bit. Now it's time to give our fairies some skates. I'm going to use the Micron. O2 black pen to give them uh, blades and attach them to their feet. What you're going to see me do here is I'm taking a little water pot with a brush and I'm just going to put clean water on the wings of the fairy and then blot them with a clean, dry paper towel. And the reason behind that is to try to get some distress oxide ink off their wings so that when I color their wings, they will take the color a little better. Here, I'm going to take my white gel pens and add some highlights and accents to the scenery. Now it's time to bring in Nellie's Choice Snow Effect. We're going to build the banks and little mounds of snow and put little 
dabs of snow on the boughs of the trees. This does bring texture to the card and makes the snow um, stand out. It appears 3D. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll visit us at DelBellowsDesigns.com for most of your crafting needs. If you haven't already done so, consider joining our Facebook groups. The links are listed. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.